Well, well, well. Andor has just finished. As you're watching this video, it has been two days after the finale. But I'm not here to talk about the finale, I'm here to talk about my favorite arc of the entire show. Because today I want to cover why I believe Andor is so beloved by fans, and the secret that lies within. Alright, so as I've said before, the arc that I want to cover is the prison arc of the show. So a quick recap. In episode 7, Cassian does some chicanery and a short trooper says I hate you and puts him into prison. Enter episode 8 where Cassian is in the prison, he meets a guy called Kino Loy Kino, and right? then over the coming episodes they escape, they realize the entire prison is a cover up but they manage to escape with Melshi and they escape blah blah then the finale happens. Okay, so why do I think this arc is the key to understanding why Andor works? It's very simple. It's the entire design of the prison. What do I mean that by? Basically, if you pay attention, you have no idea who these prisoners are. Cassian is the only prisoner that we actually know why he got sentenced there. The rest could be anyone we want them to be. They could have been either unfairly transported there, or they could have been mercenaries, murderers, rapists, whatever you make them out of be. And that's the key, really, as the prisoners could be all of those terrible, terrible people, yet we still root for them because we don't care about what they've done, but we care about who they become. And if you pay attention to that motive, you will soon realize that it's been present in Star Wars since the original trilogy. Let me take you back to Return of the Jedi. There is a small scene during the final battle where Luke Skywalker charges at Vader, he cuts off his hand, and he stops before killing him because he looks at his arm and he realizes that he is about to turn into Vader. Now coming back to Andor, we can apply that exact logic because these people, the reason why we root for them is because they have been placed in that prison unfairly and we want them to fight for their freedom as one of the core themes in Star Wars is that no matter how evil you are there is still some good in you and the reason why I brought up that scene in Return of the Jedi as in the Return of the Jedi we have of course the redemption of Anakin Skywalker the most evil and hated man in the entire galaxy has a good heart inside. And that's why I think it's excellent how this arc uses the color of white. White is usually used in art to represent purity because that's what happens to these prisoners. They basically become pure as they enter the prison, as they serve their sentence, they serve their punishment. But as soon as we learn that that sentence was a lie, we begin to see that they're actually just like us. We forgive them for their sins, as they deserve to be free, as they have their punishment, but they've been lied about that punishment, as the Empire, of course, keeps them back in the prison even after they're done with their sentences. Therefore, they literally wash away their sins after jumping into the water. And what I think is another excellent part of this arc is how the Empire, all of the officers, have black uniforms. Black usually representing corruption, evil, oppression. So in the end, why I think this is such a genius arc is simply because Andor cleverly uses visual language and its colors to keep the original motifs of Star Wars that George Lucas wrote back all the way in the 70s and 80s and uses them to influence new stories in today's century, showing that those motives can be still present in today, the motive of oppression and that no matter Whatever you've done, how evil you've been, there is that good in you. And that's what the prisoners are supposed to represent. The good inside of them. Coming back to that scene when they all jump out of the prison into water, they're washing away their sins quite literally. They have become now free men. They serve their punishment, so there is no reason for them to be exploited more as they have paid the price for what they've done before and they can come out either good or bad, that is their choice. But the reason is that this arc showed that there is still good in those prisoners as they decided to do the right thing and unite with the others. And what shows and which character shows this the best is Kino Loy. As Kino Loy is introduced 
as a character that mostly cares about himself, but in the end, he knew that the only way out of the prison was swimming out. He couldn't swim, but he still sacrificed himself. Using that motif of the good being inside of you, no matter how evil are you, because Kino is introduced as a person that only cares about himself, he's very selfish. Therefore, it's very poetic of him in the end to be the most selfless person out there. And again, the theme of selflessness is something that was been always present in Star Wars, whether it would be for Luke Skywalker or Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is why Andor is such a beautiful show, as it respects the legacy of Star Wars while creating a completely new story for brand new viewers. And that's why I think most people call this the best content since the original trilogy, as this is the same method that George Lucas used to write his sequels, where it would be the prequel trilogy or continuing the original trilogy. He always kept those main motives, as he knew they are essential to the story of Star Wars. And that's why I think Andor is such a beautiful show and why it's so beloved and why it works. Because Tony Gilroy handled the themes of Star Wars expertly and utilized them. Where it would be in the aesthetic of the show or just for the characters themselves. Those core values that Lucas has crafted are still there, even if he might not write the stories. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know this one was a very deep analysis, but... I just had to go about it as I've been loving the show and I was wondering why do I love it and try to answer that question. I think I have found the answer. Leave your interpretations down below and what do you think of mine and I'll catch you guys next week. Bye!